We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, here at Soda City Comic Con once again. I am sitting here. You probably recognize the voice. She is Susan Eisenberg, the voice of Wonder Woman. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how's your been? How's your conv- how's your weekend? So far, so good. <laughs> We're wrapping it up here, but so far, so we, good. We are. We are. Uh, this has been uh, a crazy day. Yeah, it has. Uh, you've had a couple panels. How are your panels going? I actually had one panel today oh. with um, a certain um, man named... Batman. Um, so Kevin and I had a panel earlier today, and then we went back. We did some signing, and now we're wrapped up for the day. All wrapped up. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, how long have you been doing voiceover? Voiceover uh, <laughs> since the nineties. Okay. Yeah, the nineties. Um, even when I was working other jobs, I was still doing voiceover. But I started doing it when I was like in high school. I would do commercials for my dad's uh, department store nice. on the radio, on the local radio show. So, if you don't count that, then in, <laughs> then the nineties. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and you're now the you're you're recognized as the voice of Wonder Woman. That's hard for me to say. I mean, that thing, I appreciate you saying it, yeah. but I wouldn't say it myself because right. I think there are certainly other voices that are doing it. And uh, but I think with Justice League, so many people met her mm-hmm. during that show. Um, so I think for those people who grew up on the Justice League, yeah. there's a strong association with me and the character. Yeah, and especially me growing up because that was the show I grew up right. with. And every and. Luckily, I had a little bit of comic background, but everyone recognizes John Stewart as the first Green Lantern because of Justice League. I know. And it's like, no, we there was a there was a guy before him. I it's know. Like, no, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. <laughs> right. Uh, so you got to, so you are uh, voicing Wonder Woman in one of my favorite games, uh, DC Universe Online. Yes, I love it. It's one of my favorites too. Well, I'm not like a huge gamer, but um, what I love about it, I just love the creative team there. I mean, they're just so excited about storytelling and about this particular Wonder Woman. And they grew up on the Justice League as well. Mm -hmm. So it's just so easy for me to slip into that, their stories. I mean, how was it uh, working with her? I mean, I know voiceover is kind of different parts. You don't really work or work in the sound booth at the same time. No, with video games, you don't work with anybody. I mean, you're really alone in the the booth with a video game as opposed to Justice League Mm -hmm. where you're all together. The thing that makes it so special about doing DCU Online is that that I feel like there is a team in place, whether it's SJ or Alex, because they we've been together for so long on these games that they're usually there either in my ear or at the studio itself. So they're my my partners in crime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. So well, we're actually here a little bit into the game. Yeah. And. Ooh. Wow. Okay. I mean, yeah, we're playing this on Nintendo Switch, and I'm, I'm excited about this. I mean, seriously, the yeah. Nintendo Switch is exciting to me. Okay. I don't know much about it. I'm not going <laughs> to lie, but it was very exciting when SJ told me the news. I, I like because it's a big deal. It is. So, and I want this game to be something everyone knows about because I just so believe in the team behind it at Daybreak. I really do. I just I love it. Do you have any of your favorite lines from DC Universe? Well, they song? gave me some. Like, they gave me my great Harris. So oh, all was yeah. good. You know, they gave me all my great Harris, so I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I know you didn't play uh, much of it, but, I mean, you, what was your first... Because you, there was a picture of you, of course, on, D, on DCO, because you just came out from a uh, recording session. Right. And you had to switch in your hand. Like, right. what was your experience seeing it for the first time on such a small screen? Well, it always kind of makes me giddy. Um, because, again, not being a gamer, mm-hmm. when it, if anyone has the patience to sit down with me like Alex did and said, okay, here we go, and kind of helps me delve into it, I find it thrilling. I mean, I understand how people are in love with these games. It makes all the sense to me in the world. And so um, he sat down with me and he showed me some of the buttons and he showed me the screen and we took it from there. And then we told other players out there that we were there so they could come meet us. Yeah, I got there 40 minutes late. I got there 40 minutes late. <laughs> Sorry about that. We didn't, have, we didn't have a... There was no notice. I mean, no, it wasn't none. like we said, join us all later. It was like, want to go, want to play? And I'm like, yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> and it was just, it was, it was very spontaneous, just so you know. I was really happy you at least got your name. Oh, I... I, I didn't think you were going to get your name in the game. 
That's Alex. He does it. He does it all. He probably found the character. It's like, oh, someone took your name? Delete. Right. It's well, like, now let's get you in. Yeah, he did it. He set it up. He, he, he's really good that way. Now, who's Alex? Alex is the director. Okay. So he directs me. And he's, he's been the director for me um, uh, at DCU, I think, as long as I've been doing the game. Wow. Yeah. So between him and SJ... Um, you know, they're they're out of daybreak. They're out of the offices in Austin. Mm-hmm. But I've gone to Austin. I've seen the <laughs> offices. So, you know, I just feel like it's we're all just part of the same family at this point. So, how's it like working with SJ? Um, like, uh, what's her direction to? I mean, as a creative director, right. She does a lot of the of the back end, make sure the writing's good and direction. Like, how's it really been working with her? And like, what's one thing that she's really that you've really taken notice of her? with her work working with you? I think the biggest thing I notice about working with her is her passion for it. I mean, she... So when we first met, it was just through a phone patch. So I had no idea what she looked like. We had never seen each other. Um, But we worked for years that way because she had written the scripts. And then um, the recording session, she would say, okay, could you do this line this way or that way? But she had grown up with my Wonder Woman on Justice League. So... She was aware of me, and she, um, well, I think we just both had such enthusiasm for the character. We both loved Diana so much, and the takeaway for me was how amazing it is to work with somebody this passionate about not only the character, but her product and, and the people that are playing the game. She, she's a, a player. She's a gamer. Yes, so she, she <laughs> wants the gamer to have... An extraordinary experience and that kind of passion I want to be aboard that that's fantastic to me so it has been nothing but joy um, being associated associated with this game that is awesome to hear so now we can only guess from the tweet that you're recording session I can only guess it was for Dark Knight Metal for the newest episode I'm not telling okay I'm not I will not say a word Look, you cannot see anything. I try, guys. I try. You will not see anything from this. <laughs> well, Susan, thank you so much. It has been an absolute pleasure, and I gotta say, you're just a ray of sunshine. Like just immediately meeting you just for the uh, for the picture and autograph, it was like, like wow, it was crazy. Thank you. It was thank so you. great. So thank uh, uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank My you, pleasure. Thank you for coming to Columbia because oh gosh, we don't really get a lot of celebrities. <laughs> so uh, so that's uh, us from Soda City. There's of course more videos, more panels, and. Hope you guys are able to make it next year because hopefully it, it turns out to be bigger and better. Oh, always. 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 Cut the chit chat and log on. We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Yep, we are the nerds. We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. If it don't confuse the squad, that's all.